a small back alley in Tokyo, there is a cafe which has been serving carefully brewed coffee for more than 100 years. But this coffee shop offers its customers a unique experience, the chance to travel back in time. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I am your host, Liam, aka Hemvara. Today I will be doing a short spoiler-free review of Toshikazu Kawaguchi's Before the Coffee Gets Cold. Before the Coffee Gets Cold is a 2015 short novel by Toshikazu Kawaguchi, and is translated into English by Jeffrey Trusalat, which is the version I read. Now, this will be really short, and I feel like the intro music I used was probably really inappropriate for what type of book this is. This is really not what I normally read, just to make that clear. But anyways, the story is set in a special cafe in Tokyo. Customers can travel back in time, but only have a short time to do so, as they must return before the coffee gets cold. The book is divided into four parts for four characters experiencing this magical effect. The Lovers focuses on Fumiko Ku Kiyokawa, who just broke up with her boyfriend of two years, Goro Katada. I felt like it was about closure more than a remedy, though definitely you see more of what comes of this in the later parts of the book, as each part is really connected. You'll see these characters again, they're not just exclusive to their parts. Then Husband and Wife is about Kusagi and Kotake, characters that are, again, from part one. This focuses on a relationship where a spouse is suffering from Alzheimer's. Sisters focuses on Kumi and Hirai, and then Mother Daughter focuses on Kei, and is somewhat introduced in pieces in the previous parts as well. It's a really heartfelt, cute, fun, but also an interesting blend of what we would normally call fantasy in the real world. So some would probably call it urban fantasy, but that's not really what it is, and I think this is what we would call magical realism, though I've never read any of that before, so let me know if I'm correct on that. Um, it's also very dramatically set up, but the little actions that are described lend it some rather deep depth, which is kind of redundant now that I say that out loud. Anyways, the theme is interesting, especially with how it interacts with time travel, which is different in many stories, of course. Honestly, um, I would go and just read Joanna's review on Goodreads for some more thoughts on this. I just wanted to say that I did enjoy this. It was very, very short. I read it in two days. If I put more time into it, I easily could read it in one. But I did enjoy it. And if you have read this, let me know what you think. But again, this is not normally what I read at all. Um, now, this has been Liam's Liam Lyceum. Uh, feel free to join the discussions down in the comments. I also have a Discord that you can join and join in more bookish and other pop culture discussions there.